Welcome back to the Art to Life podcast. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about business. And you notice that I don't spend a lot of time talking about business in art. Um, and when I do, I tend to talk about it uh, really in terms of art and the principles of art making. And, and this is deliberate. I teach business ideas uh, for artists, for creatives, using um, the principles and approaches and creative uh, solutions that we're familiar with because we're artists. I think it's really important to leverage what we already know as artists, as makers, as creatives in the journey itself making a business, getting your art out in the world, if that's what you're interested in, is no different than making your art. Or there's so many parallels and we often don't think about this. Um, I think there's a tendency for us to stay clear of business or wonder if it's something that it's so separate from our art making and that you know, this is, we're artists and <laughs> this isn't our world. So I want to talk today about, about this a little bit and, um, and go into a way of thinking about your art, a way of approaching this whole subject of promotion and how to make it possible and easier to get your out in the world out, get your art out in the world, but how to think about it all, how to understand a way to do this. Sometimes we get close to it when we think about, well, what is my style? And, and that, that's not really what we're talking about here. There's something bigger than this. There's something underneath the surface of this that the artist has to, it has to start becoming aware of. And it has to do with brand and it has to do with personal brand. Art making is extremely personal and this is what makes it hard, right? You know, there's artists do struggle with business. Um, there's a lot of reasons for this. And, you know, the first being that you can't, that it is challenging uh, when you're making something, when you're involved in something to to see it objectively. You're not the best judge of what you're making because you're making it. So many times in workshops, I see people being so harsh and critical on their work and far beyond what it actually is. Everyone in the room sees their art differently and has a kind of agreement on it of, wow, we love the color. And, you know, if, if you get a group critique, and this is one of the benefits of a group critique, it's like a wake up call that what you make, you see it differently than what everybody else does. And so we want to try to get you closer to understanding and seeing more clearly what your art is and how it fits into you so you can lean into it more and you can share it more and you can um, be excited about it and not get discouraged. When you're making art, and this is the hard thing, the beautiful thing, is that you're, if you're really truly doing this, you're not always going to be sure how this thing that you make is going to turn out. And there is, um, there's vulnerability in that. And that just comes with the territory. So that vulnerability <laughs> should be there, is there, but it can run the show. And this does not make you feel like running on stage and yelling at the top of your lungs how great your art is to get it out there. It, it tends to it tends to pull you in, it tends to hold you back, it tends to get you to think that, well, 
Maybe tomorrow I can start talking about this work. Maybe later when it gets so much better, I'll feel better about it. And then I can do something about this and I can start posting on Instagram. I can start um, being more out in the world. Right now, I just need to do another one. I need to be better. And I think there's some there's a time for this, absolutely. But if, if you do want to get your work out, it's now. You don't need to wait. The journey of what you're making, the progress you're making from today is actually really, really interesting to people and something that, you know, is worthy of sharing. Um, we tend to focus on, well, I'm good if this last thing I made is really good, which often we don't even know until weeks later. So it's problematic. We, we tend to lean on the energy that our art gives us, which, which makes total sense. That's how and why we do this. We're discovering new things. And it makes us just, it's so exciting to try something and learn something and then make something. And you never know what can happen. And some days it's a miracle. That's, that's the art making journey. And I love this. And this is what we're all involved in. And when you compare that <laughs> to the practice of trying to promote the thing that you made two days ago or two years ago or a week ago, it's nowhere near as exciting. If you think of it in the way of I need to promote, I need to put the hat on of being a promoter. I wish I had someone who could do this for me. I just want to do the art part. If you feel this way, this episode's for you because what I want to share with you, it's a reframe of how you think about this promotion piece, which makes all the difference in the world. Art is change. That's what we're involved in. The thing is not pinnable, what you're making. So we can have a strategy. If we, if we just made the same painting over and over again, we just made a picture of a sailboat or whatever, well, then we can start to understand easier how we might promote this, who might be interested. But if you're like me and your art is changing as it should, then it becomes even harder to understand what this trail of things behind you is. How do you even get your head around this in order to say something about it? Because it's changing. And this is, this is the other challenging thing. We know, you know, in, in the world of promotion, and my dad was in advertising, so I grew up with this, um, that, that, your messaging, you know, what you're putting out in the world, it, it's not like people will notice just because you post something. They're going to notice it over time, six times, seven times. It takes many times of someone seeing the thing to, to remember it, to even notice it. Like, I think it's like seven occurrences. It's not just one. And so there's not only is this hard to do once, but you, to do this, you've got to be consistent. There's a consistency that leads you to being known, to having people consider what you're making, to being seen. We all have those amazing uh, moments when we post something that's really good. Uh, we don't maybe even know it and we share it and a lot of people see it and a lot of people share it. And that's what's, that's what is kind of amazing about today that, that you can kind of go viral with a thing, um, which is exciting. But for the most part, it comes from slow and steady steps. So those are the pitfalls. And if you hear yourself in that, if you hear, if you hear the voices, if I just had someone who could just take this off my plate and just do this over here, um, and I didn't have to think about it, and just, that's just the promotion part, that, um, that splits your thinking. And I'm not saying that it'll, it, it is great to get help and a team and all that, and you can do that, but we don't wanna split the th your thinking, how you're thinking about it 
needs to be more incorporated into into what you're doing, into the thing that gives you energy. And so what I'm talking about, it's not style. It's not what this the work happens to be about right now. Um, when you look at those pictures and you're trying to identify and relate it to other artists in the history of art, that that I'm kind of like this, that I, you know, and of course, go right ahead and that's fine, but I want to talk about how to get under this, what's under all this, what's what's the feeling, what's the uh, look uh, and the experience that you're having with your work, first and foremost, what matters to you, why you do what you do, it's the thinking is deeper and bigger. And this falls under the idea of brand. And when we think of brand, um, we tend to think of uh, more business, right? You know, Nike's a brand, you know, uh, and we know these brands, we see the logos, we see the colors, and and there's a connotation that it is, uh, you know, far, different because these are corporations, these are biz, big businesses, you know, Apple's a brand, right? Um, that's in no way related, we think, to this very personal thing we're making. But what you have to remember is the principles of, of brand relate to what we make. Pers it's personal, it's personal brand. So what is that? Um, it's getting clear about what lights you up. And this can be aspirational. You know, this, this is, um, you might make a picture of something, but pulling further back, what is the experience that is driving you? What is the bigger feeling behind what you do? What is the single most important thing that you would wanna say about your art if you had a couple words? You know, I think about this and it's interesting because I'm, you know, I have a company, an art company. <laughs> I also make my own work, but if I think about Art to Life, the brand of Art to Life is, it's not, teaching art, which is kind of what we're known for, but it's bigger than that. It's about discovering one's authenticity through creativity. What I'm interested in and what gets me so excited, what gets me up in the morning, what gets me why I'm actually even talking right now, what I'm so excited about is, is unlocking the potentiality for people. Really, it's about freedom for myself and and I believe, I experience that that's possible to do and we can do it through the creative process. Creativity is the journey, is the, is the doorway to becoming our, our, our biggest, best, most lived, excited selves. That there's a possibility for us bigger than we can imagine and we can use creativity to, to to unlock that and share that with the world. So it's kind of a little bigger than these art supplies that are always on my table, right? The thing is art, but the brand, the personal brand is, it's about freedom, right? It's not a fixed thing. You get to change and you get to learn what it is that is really behind everything you do. You know, my friend Adam Wolpert, he, he paints trees and it's been so interesting because he's not an artist that's painting trees. He's someone who's, his inquiry is about spirituality and, and nature and the essence of being a human being. And I know him and it's, and that is what he's involved in. And as a result of that thinking, these paintings 
give you that experience. You know, when we think of Ansel Adams, I mean, even photographers, he's not a guy who takes pictures of Yosemite. He's a guy who takes pictures, who opens us, who makes us, allows us to feel nature in this deep, um, stirring way that we haven't before. That's his brand. And I mean, you know, he's not here to have this conversation. I might have him on the, the podcast. But so that's the invitation to start thinking about what it is, what is the bigger idea that gets you up in the morning? That's the reason why you're making art, that it has to do, you knew this, you came into the world this way. And if you can start thinking about this, it's really why you probably make art, why you're drawn to this. And yes, it has to do with what you're making pictures of, with the style is a little part of this, but, but this is exciting. This is, a, this, this is your brand, okay? This is about you. And whether you're listening and you're a ceramic artist or whether you're a doctor and you're listening to this or whether you're creating a business or you're a painter, it doesn't really matter. This information uh, and, and thinking in this way can start being, uh, it, it starts giving you clarity. And we're talking about getting the thing that you make, your message, your gifts. We're talking about getting that out in the world. And so this personal brand thing, getting clarity for it um, can help you do that. So I'll, I'll explain how it can help in a second, but the steps to this are asking yourself, what is, what is the one word, you know, what is the most important thing to you right now? Um, what's the word, what's the phrase that captures what it is that gets you up in the morning? Why are you here? This relates to purpose. What is the most important thing? To me, I veer off of this, you know, yes, I'm using paint and I know how to make color, but that's not what I don't, you notice on this podcast, I'm not talking so much about mixing color. I am interested what my brand is, what my personal thing is, is about this journey and, and learning and discovering and all the ups and downs and, and how we can move towards our potentiality. And there's so much excitement in that. And I, you know, I love seeing this in other people. That's why, well, that's what Arts of Life's involved in. You know, we just finished the Creative Visionary Program and to see the progress that people have made and to, when they say, when they articulate, and they all say it in different ways, which is so cool, but they realize now that they, they see themselves in a way, they see potential, they feel potential, they've shown themselves potential that they didn't know they had. And if that's not a great reason for being on this planet, <laughs> I don't know what is, because when we all live to our better selves, that has a massive impact. That has a ripple effect that changes everything. So often, the idea behind what you're doing, if you go further out and continue to ask yourself why, you know, it's like, well, why do I go to the studio? Well, why do I paint in color? Well, why do I paint about nature? Or why, and, and keep peeling it back and come to a place where you have some, uh, there's uh, where you are right now, you can start articulating it a little bit. So here, here's how that can help. It's a way to think about yourself differently that provides this freedom, that provides this, this uh, opportunity that makes getting your things out in the world easier. Getting clear, if I'm about freedom and art to life is something that myself and my team and we've created, but it started with me teaching five people in a workshop 25 years ago. Um, if I, so if that's personal. And I believe that anything, it all is all personal, <laughs> but you know, that, that feeling of 
somebody unlocking, uh, myself starting with that, feeling free, noticing what happens, what how I can show up, what happens in my art, how it gets stronger when I feel more free, what are the encumbrances of that and how to undo that and how to make how to make this art more and more personal in this business. That's what I'm doing, but also in my art, that's what I'm doing. It, they run parallel because they're it's all me. <laughs> so that's a really good, if you look at my work, if you look at the arc of my work, it's going more in that direction. Now there's other things about it. I don't need to like go into that, but that is what I'm involved in when I go into my studio. And when I become clear, I know what that is. I know how to get into that. I can think conceptually about what I'm doing. And it has nothing to do with the colors. It has nothing to do with the different materials I might use, whether I'm gonna do collage or acrylic. And this is where artists get kind of stuck. They think that this has to do with the materials or even what you're making. It really doesn't. It's, it's this why that you have inside of you that you get to figure out and you get to develop it and it gets to change. So it's not a fixed thing. Again, it's not, don't feel you have to like fabricate something. The answers are already inside of you, which is also so cool. Nobody can tell you this. Um, there's no, this isn't seven tips to becoming known. This is something that doesn't cost anything. This is something that you can figure out right now uh, begin to figure out right now on a on a pad of paper on the back of an envelope, which is where most of the amazing work occurs because you're by yourself, you got a cup of coffee, and there you're thinking, you're 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 connecting into what moves you, what makes you feel more alive. So when you get clear about this, even a little bit, your work gets clearer. It gets more potent. It makes it easier for understand for people to understand it. Because what happens is you think that you, if you do a collage, and I get so many questions like this, you know, I made this kind of art, and then I made this kind of art. And then, oh my God, I took the creative visionary program and I made another kind of art. First of all, I can't show all of this. I don't know what I, what, you know, I don't want to confuse people. Is it okay? I like these things. And this is, this is somebody with a magnifying glass looking at what they're making, not pulling further back and asking the more important question, what is the brand of me? What is, what is making all of this and connecting to that? So your promotion, therefore, becomes about your brand not about the individual pieces of art. And this is so exciting because there's so much freedom in it. It takes you out of it a little bit. It takes you off the roller coaster of, this is a great thing and I don't wanna share this and it's too, we're too in close. So for example, if, if I, and I'll use myself for an example, if I, if my work is is about spontaneity or is about freedom or wildness, which I had a whole show that was about called Untamed. And that show came out of where I was at that time and breaking free of things. So if you think of the concept, the feeling of what you're doing, not even the specific paintings, and you need to promote this, say it's untamed, now you can include poetry. Now you can include pictures of seemingly different things other than your art. You could share a video of a bird, you know, that's, that's been released back into the wild. You can talk to people that are making breakthroughs that, that are coming, coming from a contracted place to an expansive place. If you're interested about freedom and, and becoming more yourself, there's all kinds of, of possibilities that you can include 
in your promotion and it becomes easier. It's interesting when you have guardrails a little bit around what it is you want to share. And it's not just all over that there's a theme that there's the, and the theme is you, then you can start building something and it's easier to do it. And because the things are the things you care about, if I love freedom, I can, I can show a painting of mine. I can show somebody dancing. I can interview an artist that has gone through our program who's so damn excited they can't sleep. Um, I can, I could, I could show a program about, you know, people who have progressed so much and they are incarcerated and, and they've, they're, they've been able to change their mood, shift their life around and, and they've gotten out and they're starting over and they're learning how to do that and all the freedom and the drama and the excitement. Do you see how it's like, it's a bigger feeling, but in a way it's simpler and people can see this. And what's most important is that you can talk about this easier, right? Like that becomes an interesting conversation that other people can come in. I don't know if you notice this when you're at a party and people ask you, oh, what do you do? You know, and it's like, well, I'm an artist. And it's like, oh, and they, they don't know what to say because they're in uncharted territory, but they often will say, oh, what's your medium? Um, it seems like a good question. It's actually not that interesting, but then you say, oh, I'm, uh, I, I uh, oil paint, you know, oil paint and mixed media. And the you notice the conversation kind of, oh, wow, that's so great, you know, Mike. And then they'll say, they try to make a connection and it's often, well, my cousin was an artist, but, you know, they, and usually it's a story of, you know, like, uh, tried to do a thing and then it, and then it didn't work out, you know. So it's just sort of like this, kind of let down conversation a little bit. It doesn't really go anywhere. Um, but if you start it and they say, oh, you're an artist and you start sharing, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's about freedom ultimately, you know? And they're like, really? Yeah, you know, it's like, I found that, you know, like what's so exciting to me, what really, what I, what I love, what my art's about is about this expansion that, you know, it, it takes time, but you can get to this place where when you realize that there's more in your life for you and, and that, that is the way I kind of think about my art. It's how I learn about myself. It's how I prove it to myself. It's how I share that message to the world. Do you realize the connections that people can make to that? Because now you're in the world that people understand non-artists, right? They can, they can drop into that and they want that. When they can understand what is under the art, they can, when you can educate them and they can see and track it, and when somebody understands something and they can connect it to themselves, that's the first part of ownership, right? So that is, that is why this promotion thing um, you know, how it can help you. It's so, it's so important to have a couple words that are true. Now this has to be true. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a salesperson for, for, th for businesses that aren't mission driven, right? This has to be something you care about. You can't fake this. Um, you know, this is obviously there's commercial considerations here and we want to make money and all the things, but you get both. So, but I, you do, this do, does have to be a sincere inquiry um, and it has to really matter. It, this is what, this is, this is what you've done in your life. This is why you came here. You know, this is so worthwhile to spend half an hour thinking about instead of making another piece of art. If you can get above this, and understand from this vantage point and share that, share that creative vision, it becomes way easier for people to enter into it. And that is everything that makes all the difference in the world. You know, and, it, and it, it's helpful actually to, to think of, to think of 
branding and you know apple the most amazing company in the world and we all have their devices and iPhones and they're not a technology company you know like and we know this right like if you think about it really what they're doing their paint is is a bunch of chips and cases and laptops and computers they don't their brand is not that that's what they make but the feeling behind what they make that the idea their brand is think differently which oh my god i want to be that i i i do think differently i i identify with that and it's not a fake thing you see this is the thing it's not like a marketing ploy it's like don't you you can feel that in the way that their technology looks the way it feels i mean you get something of theirs and you uh experience it and it really is when the iphone came out like it is completely different and it and it's just the user experience it's revolutionary and and changed all our lives and <laughs> what it makes possible i'm doing this podcast right now with a telephone i mean it's just incredible what they did and it had to do the way they did it the way they make the things the way the things feel all of it has to do with the founder and the and the sort of beginnings of this company that we're going to think about this in a different way and we're going to attract people creatives like me <laughs> who who are out to change the world who who maybe who who have that aspiration so it's really aspirational is is the point here and we're no different so again i love this the 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 thing that you know if you can get your head around art making and what you're doing and stretch it out really for the benefit of your art to what is my personal brand what is the purpose around this about around myself why am i making what i'm making and think of this as a personal brand it it will solidify your art it will make it more clear it will make it easier for you to share things about it because now the lens of it is more is bigger and it and it's more relatable and you can figure out you because of it there's a reason if you look at the things in your house you know there's this really beautiful orchid right here and and nature is a big part of what i'm involved in you can't see it in my work anymore but if you look at my earlier work like that that's how i restore you know there's adventure in in the journey that i love for myself for our it shows up in our destination workshops you know so you start to understand when you trace it back it it starts to relate and you can start to understand yourself better but then so can other people and and that is uh you know we're we're interested in creating this consistency um uh, an emotional, uh, visual representation that distinguishes us. We're already different. We're already different. We don't need, if this is not a phony thing, we just have to, it's just like making our art. You, everyone's came here in, as individuals. What we do at Art to Life and what how I coach and what I'm sharing on this pod, podcast is a journey of figuring that out. You already got it. We just got to figure out how to show it. And when that thinking, when you realize that, this can happen really quickly. It can happen easier. Promotion is art making. There's no difference. And when you get that, you already love art making. So you need to think of this as part of that. And when you do, it all becomes part of the creative soup. It all becomes part of the uh, passionate, um, way you're coming alive. Anyway, you guys, um, 
Let me know. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. I think this is a really interesting subject, and I'm going to try and dive into it deeper um, on some upcoming episodes. So if you go to artlifepodcast.com, uh, there is a link there, uh, a little yellow tab where you can post a question, uh, leave a comment. I'd so appreciate that. If you love this podcast, if it's been helpful, I would so appreciate you leaving a comment. I read all of them, leaving a review. I mean, and and sharing this, ultimately sharing this with other people. It's so many people are starting to listen to this now and people are sharing it and it's just a result of you doing that. And so um, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you next week. Okay. Okay.